So welcome to my hacienda, to my channel. So we started with this beautiful music because there is this phrase in English from Spanish, mi casa, su casa. My house, your house, right? It means my house is your house, which literally translated in the song immediately after the Spanish expression. Mi casa, su casa, my house is your house. And that makes it a classic, and it's literally classic because it's 1950s. So it's a classic example. Can you tell me what it is? Is it code switching or code mixing? So here we should say code switching because he says a full sentence, mi casa es su casa. And then the clause changes. So you have Spanish, then you change into English. It's not intrasentential, it's inter sentential then he says welcome to my hacienda right welcome to my hacienda so hacienda in uh, spanish means in english it means a state or farm with house and stuff in it that's a spanish word here it's an example of code mixing because you borrow a word from Spanish, you use it into in, in English, and the song is based on a Spanish, uh, you could say, phrase or sentence, mi casa, su casa. We are mixing more elements of Spanish into English to code mix for artistic effect. Uh, the next example, which is probably more famous than this, is uh, from the movie Terminator 2. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. So what is this an example of? Yes, so it's intra-sentential. Therefore, it is uh, code mixing. It's within the same sentence. Within the same sentence, or we should say clause. So the third example. Ah, this is my favorite. Zorro, the old Zorro. <laughs> So most people, if you say Zorro, they know the they know the movie starring Antonio Banderas and then Catherine Zeta Jones. So that's probably because it's a more recent movie. But there is a much older TV series, a TV show with Zorro. Comes a horseman known as Zorro. You see, he uses the word comandante. On the quartel wall. It will look pretty on the wall. Uh, I must report to the commandante. The word commandante he uses in an English sentence. And that's an example of... So the cool thing about this whole TV show is, first of all, a lot of characters have a Spanish accent. Sergeant Garcia begs to report that the posters have been put up. Good. And now we shall get to work. More work, commandante, this morning? Like, just a little, a slight Spanish accent. And the reason for that is, the setting of the TV series is in Pueblo de Los Angeles. Town of Los Angeles, though it's um, Spanish-ruled California. So you're making a movie in English about that period in history. Still, you want to have the Spanish effect throughout the movie. So in the movie, you will see a lot of code mixing, and this was an example of it. It is likely that Torres is still somewhere in the district, is it not? Si, Capitan. Si, Capitan. So here it's an example of code switching. Although a lot of it is about code mixing, you also have instances of code switching. Here you have a full clause in Spanish. Si, Capitan. Again from the same um, series, but a different episode. This is another example, the last example I'm going to show you. Very well. It's not the game I'm after anyway. As usual, you arrest the wrong man. Let him go. The wrong man, Commandante, but how... Enough! I do this as a favor to your master, De La Vega. 
But hear me well, Vaquero. If ever again you mention the name of a Spanish lady with such other, you would wish you had been born without a tongue. Again, you can see the, the Spanish accent. He says, si capitan, but he also says comandante. So I think his rank is capitan. He's a capitan who is also a comandant. Hear me well, vaquero. Hear me well, cowboy. You would hear in an English way, hear me well, cowboy. But hear, hear me well, vaquero. But hear me well, vaquero. If ever again you mention the name of a Spanish lady with such other, you would wish you had been born without a tongue. Now, vamonos. Hey, comandante. Now, vamonos. Let's go. So you had the use of vaquero as code mixing and then you have vamonos which is code switching because vamonos is a verb, it's an entire sentence. Now that you got the hang of it, when the next time you watch a movie or if you, if you want to watch more episodes of this, you can always look for examples of code switching and code mixing. And this is how you can apply your knowledge of linguistics to the understanding and analysis of things that we just experience on a daily basis and 